Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken this up from the year 2008. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question says, let A, B, C are the three sets of complex numbers which are defined as a is defined as Z and we have been told imaginary part of Z is greater than or equal to 1. P, the next set, it consists of mod of Z minus 2 minus I is equal to 3. And the last one, Z, it's told to me that real part of z into 1 minus i. So the real part of this entire expression is given to us as e. So these are the three sets of complex numbers given to us. We need to find the region for all the three of them. And there are two questions given to us which are pertaining to this data given to us here. The first question tells us how many number of elements are present in the set A intersection B intersection C. So we need to find out the common region for all the three expressions A, B, C and we need to find out how many elements are in this set. There are four options given to us. 0, 1, 2 and the last one is infinity. And the second question which is pertaining to this data set is given to us that it says Z is any point in the region which is A intersection, B intersection, C and we have been asked that z plus 1 minus i, the whole square in the mod, and z minus 5 minus i, the whole square in the mod. This entire expression lies between what values? There are four options given to us here. It says 25 and 29, or it lies between 30 and 34, or it lies between 35 and 39, and the last option tells us it lies between so we need to figure out which of the following options is correct in the second question. So first of all, before starting with the data set, let's first understand all the three regions here. So let's understand three regions. We'll draw that, we'll find the common region, and then we'll try to solve these two questions. So first thing, if I do it in the set A, the region A, the condition tells us imaginary part of Z is greater than B. I know that a complex number Z is always given by X plus IY, where X is your real part of the complex number, IY, which is present with I, is the imaginary part of the complex number. Now, if I talk about set A, it's told to me that the region which is given here is imaginary part of Z is greater than or equal to one. And imaginary part, we already know it is just Y. So A set tells us y is greater than or equal to 1. If I try to plot that chain for A, let's say this is x and this is y. y equal to 1 is this line which is parallel to x-axis when it's telling me y is greater than or equal to 1. The region will be above this line. So for A, we get this region. Now let's see for B. So if I talk about the region B, the region B tells us it is mod of Z minus 2 minus I is equal to 3. So if I just put Z is X plus I Y minus 2 minus I is equal to 3 mod. So you get your X minus 2, I common, Y minus 1 with the mod is equal to 3. So mod is nothing but we know it is root of the real part square plus imaginary part square. So that is root of x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square equal to 3. Squaring both the sides, you get x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square equal to 3 square. Now, if I just compare this entire expression of some x, we 
with x minus h to all square and y minus k to all square equal to all square. I get h is two k is one. So we know the center coordinates of the circle are two comma one, and the radius is. So if I plot this region now. Let's say one two one third. This is your center, and since the radius is three three four five, add your units. So minus one five. The radius is three units, so this coordinate becomes five comma one. The radius is again three units here also, so this is minus one comma. So we have this diameter overall. Now if I just draw the circle here. So if I try to draw the circle, so this is your circle, which is given by this, whose center lies at comma one, and the radius of this circle is three. Right? So it goes till minus one one, and it comes to five. So this is your second region, and since it is told as equal to three, means all the points are on the circle here. So the region in this is the entire circle or the circumference of the entire circle. So first one, it told me that it is above y greater than one or equal to one. So on the line or above that line. Second region tells me it is on the circle. Let's find the third region as well. So if I solve the third region, C, that tells me real part of one minus i multiplied with z is equal to. So if I just solve this, so first of all, let's try to solve one minus i and z. So if I solve one minus i into z is x plus i y, so you get it x plus i y minus i x minus i square y. So you get it x plus i y minus i x minus i square. So i square is minus one minus into minus is plus. So you get this x plus y minus or I should say plus i. And this becomes minus y minus x. So this is the entire expression. We have been told real part of this is equal to root two. So real part of this entire expression is x plus i x plus y. So you get x plus y is equal to root. Now if I compare this, this is not a circle. This is the equation of line. So if I just get that equation of line in the form of y equal to m x plus c, I get this expression as. Y is equal to minus x plus two. From here, I get slope is minus one. Since the slope is minus one, you have a descending line here, and c is given to us as root two. Means your line intersects y-axis at point zero. And since it is a descending line, it means this is your line x plus y, which intersects x-axis also at so this is your line here, and if I try to find the region again, it is given to me equal to root. So I have the equation as equal to root. Means all the points on the line would satisfy this. Now let's just merge all the three regions and find what is the common region or the common points which we have here. The first question that is telling me. So the first question tells me how many elements are present in the region where A is given. Common with B and B is common with C. So we need to find the region which is common in all the three A, B, and C. Let's plot that. So if I just draw here, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, and you have a line which is y equal to one. So y equal to one. We know that the first region tells us every Point about this line is the region which satisfies the first one A. Now we also have this is 0, 1. This is minus 1. So we know this that for the second region, if I plot it, the center lies at 1, 
and the extreme points are 5 comma 1 and so this is your entire circle which means so in the second region we already know that all the points on the circle were part of this so we get this that this is your diameter and all the points above the diameter satisfy the two regions till now, A and B. Let's also plot the region C. So C, we knew it as an equation of line which has the intercept at 0, 2 and it also had at 0, 0,1. And this is your line which passes like this. So this is your straight line given to you. Now, from these three regions, when I'm plotting them, I understand there is only one particular point which is common to all the three regions A, B, and C. So I get it that number of elements that are present in this region A intersection, B intersection, C is equal to one because there is only one point which is this point that is present in the combined regions of first, second and third, right? So we get only one point here which satisfies this because if I see here the intersection of circle and line is there, but the first region which is there, which is y greater than one, that does not satisfy you. So this also cannot be the point. So only element that is present in the intersection region is one point and that is this point which is the intersection of circle and line and that is having y greater. get the answer for the first part of the question that says number of elements in the region A intersection B intersection C that is your option B. Now let's find out it's telling me like Z is any point H which is in the A intersection B intersection C and we already know that point. So that is this point which is having the common region of A intersection B intersection C. So this is your Z. Now they are telling us from this set, you have to find the distance of 1 minus i and you have to find the distance of minus 5 minus i and square them. Let's solve that. So the second question, if I try to find out, we have to find the distance of mod of z plus 1 minus i and we have to find mod of z minus 5 minus so if i write this z is x plus i y so x plus 1 and here we have i this is y minus 1 here you have x minus 5 and plus i y minus 1. so what you understand is you are finding the distance of that point x so plus 1 i can write as x minus minus 1 so I can just write this as you are finding the distance of x from minus 1 and from y you are finding the distance from 1 and here you are finding the distance of x from 5 and from here you are finding the distance of y from 5. So what I understand here is that when I have the mod of that with the whole square that is nothing but x plus 1 square plus y minus 1 square square root and square gets cancelled out plus x minus 5 whole square plus i y minus 1 or i should not write i also because we are taking out the mod so it is root of x square plus y square so let's not let's not directly cancel that square and root let's keep it root of that the whole square and here also we have root of that so what I understand here is when it is in the root, I am just understanding that you are finding the distance of point x comma y, which is the point in the common region. So let's say this is your point x comma y. You are finding that distance of x comma y from minus 1 and 1. It is, I can write that x plus 1 as x minus minus 1, right? So you are finding the distance from minus 1 and 1. That is nothing but this distance. Join it by pink line. If you understand, we're finding the distance from here plus 
you are squaring that plus you are finding the distance of x and y also from 5 comma 1 so from 5 comma 1 if you understand you are finding this distance as well that is also squared so you want to find the distance of these two points and that is squared in both the ideas so let's try to find the distance of this point if i see that triangle let's name that triangle let's say this is a let's say this is b and let's say this is any point p x comma y so i can see that triangle pab since ab is the diameter the angle apb becomes 90 degree because angle subtended in a semicircle is always a right angle so we know that ab is diameter and since ab is a diameter here i can just write it that angle apb is 90 degree and when i have angle apb is 90 degree i can just apply pythagoras theorem that makes it ab square is ab square plus b square so ab square ab is the diameter and diameter is of how many units? Y coordinate is same. So if I just find the distance between X coordinates, this is five units and this is one unit. So the diameter is total of six units. So you get this six square is equal. If I find the distance between AP and square it, the distance between AP is going to come out root of X minus minus one square plus Y minus one square plus PB that is B square plus PB if I try to find out it's X minus 5 the whole square plus Y minus 1. If you see this is the only expression for which we have been asked to find the value and if I see this that entire expression we have got it on the right hand side that entire expression is equal to nothing but 6 square 6 square turns 6. So I get the answer for the next question also that we have to find the value of this expression and that expression comes out to be six. And if I see the answer that matches your the question, that is option C. So C is the correct answer for the question. If I get the two correct answers for this question, first is option B, second is option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where the first region had an inequality which gave me the entire region. Second was a circle which is having the points on the circumference and the third was a line which had infinite points on the line. Common region when we plotted we got only one common point there, the number of elements were one and then we just found out the distance between this point from minus one, one and five comma one. That was basically six square, that is 36. So I get the answers in the two questions which are given to us here. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our questions on JWE Advanced. So stay tuned. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in this preparation of JWE. Thank you.